everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. We have so many stories to catch up on, and all of those stories will be time marked down below for your convenience. First of which, I do want to touch on a story that we talked about a couple days ago on this channel, and that involves this profile on screen that is Husky. Currently, the number two most expensive CSGO inventory in the game is held by this guy, actually, right now, but currently trade banned and has been trade banned for about 300 days. He actually is in second place with over $180,000 in items. He's in second place to the one and only Mo TV. I'll show you guys the top list on screen right now but he is slowly trying to get unbanned on Steam. So I'm gonna give you guys the background story as to why this guy was banned and why he's probably gonna be unbanned sometime soon and what you should expect after that. So first of all, he's working with this guy on screen known as ADC, a very nice guy who contacted me and is also in cahoots with Husky to try and get him unbanned on Steam. He explained to me what actually happened. So first off, I do wanna say, if any of you guys are currently trade banned right now or you know a friend who is trade banned and you can show full proof of your trade in your trade history, contact ADC, I'll link his profile down below. He can help get you guys untrade banned, just so you all know. So first of all, ADC has helped several people out there, like Ecstasy. We also have Little on screen for all of you. All the accounts he's actually helped get untrade banned. It's kind of funny though, if you're actually trade banned on CSGO or on Steam, that will always remain on your profile. All of these people I just showed you, ADC has actually helped get them untrade banned, but that never goes away. It still says they're currently trade banned, even though they are not. So ADC can help all of you guys out. I'll link his profile down below. He gave me the background story as to why Husky was banned in the first place, and he was actually banned on Steam Rep, even though Husky has never used Steam Rep, which means it's most likely the actual the, the work of some bots out there. Now, he gave me the details of this pretty much out there. If you have a, a botting system or you want to actually try and stop other gambling website bots out there, like people tried to stop, stop Husky, most likely what did happen was a large amount of bots actually reported his account on Steam Rep, which sends it to a Steam Rep admin, and he can actually look into the situation and decide to trade ban Husky. Now, going forward, it seems the duo is going to pursue legal action if the account is not unbanned. So it seems likely sometime in the future, if Husky is actually innocent, his account will be unbanned because very likely he was actually banned on Steam Rep. You know, ironically enough, many of your Steam admins are also Steam Rep admins, so the admin over there decided to actually trade ban him, but it seems most likely, and the history will show this as an admin looks into the case itself, it's most likely going to show that many bot accounts actually just bot disliked or bot reported this guy's account, and that is why he was trade banned in the first place. So if Husky with $180,000 in CSGO items was not guilty, it should show sometime in the near future. And if not, they're going to probably repeal the case and seek legal action to get his $180,000 back in CSGO items. So best of luck to him in the future. I do actually believe this guy is very innocent. We'll find out if that's the truth sometime soon. And also in some big sticker news, I feel like I want to have a sticker segment on every episode of CSGO News. I don't know why. I'm becoming more and more obsessed with stickers as we get closer to the major. Valve did finally update a few of the stickers, except everyone's but Zip Nexus. Unfortunately enough, Zip Nexus his new sticker, although submitted before the deadline, will not be one of these changes. The changes did come, though. I'll show you guys the screenshot on screen for all of you. That did become Adren, Kiyoshima, Hobbit, and my personal favorite, Taco, all had renditions to their current stickers. Tacos being so cool, although both of Tacos were pretty cool. Uh, you guys can obviously see that the O there became a Taco, so that's pretty cool. I definitely bought one of those after that update did come out. Now, on top of that, here's also an update of my own sticker collection. Many of you guys know I'm actually personally investing $1,000 into this CSGO Major. Now, many of you guys are probably going to comment down below, Jake, it's a terrible time to buy foils. I don't think so. I think right now is about the perfect time to buy some foil stickers out there that are pretty cheap. And I did actually go ahead and buy 240 of them. Yeah, I said 240 of them. I'm an, I'm an idiot. And I know I'm really late on this story, guys, so I'll link a video down below of my man Vlado. He actually has a better, actually, I'm gonna link two videos down below, one from Vlado, one from Pasha Highlights channel. Uh, those videos are actually gonna highlight the SK and Burnish Pro football match that went on a few days ago after ESL clone and finished in stunning fashion. First of all, SK Gaming was down four to two to Virtus Pro and came back and won five to four, although I do wanna say, guys, SK had a couple ex-pro German football players on their team, so kind of unfair there, but Snacks, my man, went off. I'll show you guys some highlights on screen as well as a link highlight videos down below if you guys want to see highlights. And it wasn't a full field, just so for all of you guys who are curious. I was really hoping for a full, not necessarily a pro distance field, but it was a really, really short, like even shorter than an indoor field. So unfortunate to see there. It does make sense though. Not all those guys in the best shape of their lives. But still, I do want to point out though, guys, it was only Cold Zero on SK Gaming. SK Gaming of their entire roster, the only CSGO player to actually score goals was Cold Zero. Just, just saying, pointing that out there. It was SK who took the game though five to four snacks with two goals alongside that we also had Pasha with two goals so it was really cool to see that matchup and our first ever CSGO football match has now concluded SK 1-0 Virtus Pro 0-1 who's next uh how, how do you guys like the new look you know the, the glasses the hat yeah, just, yeah I'm just I'm just trying something new you know if there's any any girls out there that are 
are part of the OP Skins Army. Transition to our next story. Yes, our transition is the OP Skins Army is still growing. Thank you to all of you guys who are still using my OP Skins affiliate code down low. Actually, I, I kind of love whenever someone comments down below, hashtag OP Skins Squad. I, I love that kind of comment. So thank you guys so much who have used that code. We are now just shy of 600 users, just like last episode. We're growing slowly, but we're growing surely. Thank you to everyone who's actually used that code. And then some less happy news, we actually had device tweet out this just last night. So for all of you guys who are wondering, the major does not start until Sunday. So device will not be missing the major. He will be missing some practice time though uh, for a couple of funerals. That's very unfortunate news. Um, so my prayers go out to you device. He did apparently lose a couple of friends. So some sadder news there. On the brighter side, uh, we actually have PGL major trophies also coming out. So they're on screen for all of you guys. So uh, yeah, just... I don't know if I should share those stories. Comment down below, should I share these kind of stories as long as I don't like kind of, you know, view them out. I didn't I didn't put like device, funeral, sad in the title. Let me know if you guys want to hear that kind of stuff. That did go out yesterday though, but device will be on time for the major, just missing a few practices. And that's really all I have for you guys on today's episode of CSK News. I do apologize again. It's a very slow news week here, so not too big of an episode. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I hopefully see you guys in a couple days with more episodes of CSK News. If you guys did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. More importantly though, leave a comment down below so I can reply to you guys. As always, live, love, laugh, laugh. My name is Jake Mariah, like you. I will see you guys all next time. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.